Hey guys, so I thought I'd do a real quick video and unfortunately my phone went dead because I was playing Candy Crush all day at college. Um, so I've decided that I'm going to do a quick video off of my webcam, therefore you're stuck with my horrible face, but my cat is sleeping right down there so he might pop up during the video so you'll be able to see his cuteness. So um, I look a mess, my hair is completely poofed. Um, so anyway. I thought I would do a video on wood shavings because yesterday I uploaded a video and since everyone found out that I use wood shavings on the floor I thought you were, you already knew that but apparently not everyone did. So I have been getting like a few comments saying that I have to change my hamsters bedding because of shavings are not safe and they can kill hamsters and I also got asked to make a video on the dangers of wood shavings which I'm not going to do. So I'm kind of doing this um, video instead. So, yes, I use wood shavings. Yes, I am aware that some types of shavings can be dangerous. And I am fully aware of the shavings that I use. And I know they are 100% safe to use for hamsters. So basically in the UK any wood shavings which are sold for animals have to go through a process called kill and dry process which basically means that all of the fennels or chemicals from the wood shavings are removed so that it makes them safe for pets um, so when they go through the kill and dry process it helps to remove all of the chemicals which are in shavings and it basically just makes them safe for pets and I know in other countries they don't kill and dry them so in other countries you have to physically look at the packet and if it does not say they are kill and dried you cannot use them for pets because they will still have the fennels in them meaning that they are not safe for pets um, because of obviously the chemicals can cause health problems and it wouldn't be very nice for your pet either and if they do not say they are kill and dried stay away from them please they will be like not good for your pet at all so in the UK I know that all wood shavings are kill and dried but I don't know in other countries um, apparently in the US you have to physically check on the packet I'm not sure about anywhere else though so once the shavings have been through this kill and dry process it then makes them safe to use for pets and people don't seem to understand that they go through this process people just think that they are still full of chemicals um, which is not true because obviously they've gone through the kill and dry process and people also say shavings can cause respiratory problems that is the case with some brands of shavings because if they can be really dusty so I've known some brands to be like they were literally just dust and I would not touch them with a barge pole so I always say make sure you check the packets first make sure they have virtually no dust in the bottom of the packets and make sure that the shaving chips are quite big so that it's not like this horrible sort of dusty chip kind of stuff um, so if shavings are dusty you should always air them out first this will prevent any respiratory problems and I always air my out anyway even though they are virtually dust free so the snowflake brand of wood shavings are literally dust free and I can honestly recommend them but unfortunately I can't get them where I live so I'm literally stuck with either Bob Martin or Smart Pet, but both of them are quite good brands. So the main two issues with wood shavings are people say that they cause respiratory problems and health problems. The health problems may be down to the fact that their wood shavings were not kill and dried, or it could be that the hamster was allergic to them, because if hamsters can be allergic to bed-ins, I've known some people's hamsters who have been allergic to Carefresh, and Carefresh is like one of the best bed-ins out there. So, it all does depend on the hamster really as well so basically the whole point of this video was to get your 
opinions on what you think about wood shavings because if I clearly know about the issues with wood shavings um, I don't know all of them but I know some of them and I know that you can only use ones which have been kill and dried which not many people know about so I kind of wanted to do this video to get other people's opinions to see what all of you think about them obviously I totally understand people have their own opinions and I respect that 100% just please if you don't agree with my views don't start an argument because of you know I totally respect everyone has their own opinions and I posted a Facebook status on my pet Facebook and loads of people commented on it and I was surprised to see just how many people commented on it saying that these were shavings because I thought that it was just me hence why I never really said anything about it in my videos but I think I got about 10 or more people comment on it saying they all use wood shavings now if wood shavings were not safe do you really think that all of us people would put our pets through the hassle of using a horrible bedding which isn't safe my pets mean the world to me I would not use anything which isn't safe if I thought wood shavings were not safe I would literally buy another bedding if it meant that I had to constantly use my parents bank account because if I don't have a bank account on my own at the minute um, so I can't order online either so that makes things even harder because everyone thinks that oh yeah just go and order online I don't have a bank account so I can't do that um, I'm forever losing bank cards and stuff so I had a bank account up until about a year ago then I just closed it because I was sick of constantly having to request new cards so yeah I just want to kind of gather everyone's opinions because if I know a lot of people on my Facebook do use shavings but I know a lot of people on YouTube use other things such as Aspen, Fitch, um, Megazorb and stuff like that and I would honestly totally use Fitch if I could. It's basically just like Carefresh but so much softer and I would totally use that if I could buy it. Um, I don't have no farm shops local to me. I don't have PayPal or a bank account so I can't exactly order it from eBay either. So it is really hard to find bedding. Um, so comment your opinions down below and I'll be sure to check them out. Please don't start an argument on this video saying that they're bad because of I've kind of stated the, the points about the fact that they're not, um, but like I say, everyone has their own opinion. So please feel free to comment right down below and I'll be sure to check them out. So if you do use them, please can you state what brand you use? Because if I really want to see like what brands people use. Um, I know the Snowflake ones are quite popular and the Bob Martin ones are, but I just want to kind of get a general idea of what other brands people use. So um, yeah, I'm going to go now and thank you for watching this video guys and I apologise for babbling but I'm kind of in a bad mood lately because the people are telling me what to do with my pets and stuff. Um, so yeah, oh yeah, one more thing. I just want to point out a lot of people seem to rely on information which they get from YouTube. Do your own research. Seriously, the amount of people I've had come to me saying that they've been given the wrong information by people. Um, not everyone on YouTube is 100% perfect in their information. I mean, I've probably given people wrong information in the past. Um, but please do your own research if you're not certain about something because of not everyone on YouTube will give you the same answer. I've seen people on YouTube give various answers to different things and not everyone is exactly the same. There are only a couple of people on YouTube who... I actually watch because of I do believe they have the best information and they are Chocolate Connors 20 Ticks and Erin's Hamsters. Those are pretty much the only two people I watch. I also watch Ellie's Pets videos as well um, but those are pretty much the only people I do watch on YouTube because of I've not really found any people who give precise correct information all the time um, but those are definitely probably the best. So um, yeah, I just wanted to point that out because of I'm kind of getting sick of people saying, well, you've given me the wrong information or something. And I'm just like, I only know so much. I'm not like some walking, talking hamster person. So, um, yeah, please do your own research and please always check your shavings are kill and dried. If they are not kill and dried, do not use them. Um, so, yeah, anyway, thank you for watching, guys. Bye.